RP the greatest digital asset ever created. I'm so glad I accumulated before the space got saturated. XRP the greatest digital asset ever created. Make the haters aggravated. Get the spaceship activated. XRP the greatest digital asset ever created. I'm so glad I accumulated before the space got saturated. I'm so excited. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So before I get started. Guys, make sure you go click on the course, crypto course. I have a crypto course out right now. If you buy the course, I'll literally give you the ebook for free. So click on the course. Make sure you look through it. It's $70 for the course, guys. Click on the course. You can actually see all the different chapters I'm going through, and I'm adding more as I go as well. So, guys, make sure you check that out. You're going to get the ebook for free if you purchase the course this week all right so let me jump into these coins um i'm on coinmarketcap.com right now xrp sitting at a dollar 17 cardano's two dollars and well 13 cents now um but now we're sitting at 1.9 trillion dollars in the market cap so everything is still looking good guys still looking good bitcoin's at 45 um 45k um, this is good. This is a great pullback here. Some great fluctuation, a great uh, test of the market, and seeing if we can just hold stability. So, chain link is at twenty six dollars. I I want to get in. I want to get back in around twenty dollars. But definitely, guys, know your exit strategies. Know when you're going to hop out of this market with some profits and jump back in as well when it does drop a little bit lower. So. I want to just jump into this news. How much energy does Bitcoin really use? Um, Bitcoin uses less than half the energy that banking system um, consumes, according to the recent data. So, Bitcoin uses less than half of the energy that banking systems use. Obviously, that's what they get into, and the Bitcoin network continues to grow, and so does the energy usage. So, this new mining thing with Bitcoin... You can read this article, how does Bitcoin use power and all that other good stuff and using the energy and it's a lot with the ecosystems and how we can save energy and solar system stuff. So I want to jump into this Bobcat because we spoke a little bit just about mining. Um, the Bobcat is a helium Bobcat, which is a miner. I just seen it. They're shipping out uh, 68K new miners. So I personally bought one of these miners as well. It's just supposed to help with the energy um, and the Wi-Fi on your cellular devices and also accumulating the coin called Helium while you're mining um, on this particular Bobcat. Guys, I did make a video on Helium mining, so I don't want to jump too too far in it, but definitely go check out that video. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, also, speaking about helium and energy saving i want you guys to look into this xdc which is the coin xdc is a coin um a lot of this hybrid blockchain and being able to the government is actually using these and the banks is using this as well so this is with the iso 20 um 2020 well 20 zero two two right right here let me see if you guys can see where i'm looking at it's one of those type of coins where it's really popular, right? So I want you guys to get into this right here. I'll show you this uh, video here. Watch this. What is Zinfin? Zinfin stands for Exchange Infinite. It is the next generation of the global computer network, connecting communities and enterprises around the globe using blockchain technology. The network is powered by its native fuel called Zinfin Digital Contracts, or XDCs. Zinfin is a first-of-its-kind hybrid blockchain network. It combines the power and transparency of public blockchains with the security and speed of private networks. A permissioned consensus mechanism replaces the wasteful energy-intensive mining, making XDC essentially mining-free. So how does hybrid work? The network has a public state that is shared by all members. Additionally, 
enterprises can host private subnetworks. So with enterprise A and B, each will have the public state plus their own unique private state. The public state can be used to share basic data securely and transparently across the XDC network. The private state can be used to protect sensitive or financial data from the outside world. The XDC protocol can work as a messaging and confirmation layer for domestic or cross-border approved payments. Or the XDC token can be used as a payment and settlement layer supported by approved financial institutions. With secure and audited smart contracts, with IoT integration, the XDC protocol facilitates real-world contracts and transactions. Come, join the XDC community. All right, so that's XDC, guys. You guys can reach, research more about that, but I wanted to bring it to your attention. XDC, I am building my bags as we speak on XDC coins, right? So I wanted to read this one little piece that I seen from Bank XRP a while ago. I just wanted to bring it back to surface. This was in 2020. And this is, again, Ripple. And remember, I was telling you about that ISO 2022, um, these, the like these coins. So these are the type of coins that you guys need to be looking into and have utility, right? So I'm going to read a little bit about this spotlight on X on well Ripple. XRP is the coin. Rather than compete with the large banking companies, Ripple plans to partner with leading financial institutions and provide them with a blockchain solution. Instead of converting dollars into other currencies, which entails exchange rate costs, processing fees, and low transaction time, one bank can transfer, for example, $5 million worth of XRP to another bank, Ripple Portfolio, which can then convert into a local currency. Ripple is seeking to position itself as an alternative to SWIFT. So I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to get all into it. But SWIFT, if you guys don't know, I mean, tr transfers on the daily tens of trillions of dollars a day. Tens of trillion dollars a day. Right? And Ripple is trying to be an alternative to SWIFT. And I don't think people really understand. This is not... You know, your local bank accounts and things like this is global. They're trying to take over all the money. All the money. Ripple Interbank Settlement System, the Ripple Net. Right? So, this is something I have been trying to deep dive in with these ISO 2022 tokens and just trying to get more of a better understanding on which ones to actually buy and which ones are going to be the best in the long run. Right? So, I mean, you can see this whole banking protocol ecosystem here. So, you see Stellar's on here, R3, SWIFT, XFIN, um, JP Morgan, the, the company Circle, Algorand. Like, these are the type of coins, IOTA, these are the type of coins that you guys want to purchase and hold for the long term. And these things will be parabolic in our portfolio. We're not talking a couple hundred dollars. A couple four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. We're talking thousands upon thousands of millions of billions of dollars, guys. We are the next of the next. We're the one percent of the one percent. Okay, please build your bags on these IS ISO uh, twenty twenty two tokens. So this is um. I want to hit. Make sure you guys hear this one. This industry is insane. So there, there's Bitcoin maximalists, there's every, but everybody agrees like, you know, XRP sucks. And, and I, I, actually, I don't really get it, right? I mean, it's, they're a legitimate company. They don't pretend to be something they're not. And they're really good at one thing, moving money fast and cheap. And um, it's fantastic. It fills a big need. And for a hedge fund like us to be able to denominate in Ripple and XRP, I just did the same thing, uh, is, is really, really, really good. We did our first close. Uh, we moved north of four, $50 million into the company in Ripple, in XRP, in like two seconds, and it cost 30 cents. Now, that is amazing. The only, there's no way to do that with fiat or Bitcoin. There's just no way to do it that fast and that cheaply. This industry is insane. So there, there's Bitcoin maximalists, there's every, but everybody agrees like, you know, XRP sucks. And, and I, I, actually, I don't really get it, right? I mean... It's, they're a legitimate company. They don't pretend to be something they're not. And they're really good at one thing, moving money fast and cheap. And um, 
it's fantastic. It fills a big need. And for a hedge fund like us to be able to denominate in Ripple and XRP, I just did the same thing, uh, is, is really, really, really good. When we did our first close, uh, we moved north of four, $50 million into the company in Ripple and XRP in like two seconds, and it cost 30 cents. Now, that is... I don't have the key. I, I, I'm not going... I was going to replay it again. <laughs> but he just said he moved money for less than 30 cents. Okay, I'm going to just leave that alone because I, I guess I'm... I guess I, I I didn't hear that right. All right, so this is Ripple, and this is their website here, ripple.com, and it just tells you some of their customers which is banks on top of banks on top of banks. If I just click here, all the banks just load up. And this is just half of the banks that's loading up. They don't even tell you all the other banks on here. Um, this, this, listen, I don't have anything else to say. XRP is going to take over all the money. I'll see you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe throughout this video. I'm out. Peace.